Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Either me will do. Either me, or somebody has to clean it up anyway. So let's go for this manager. And we will assign it to the blue, to Daniel. Slow and. Right. The worker that we hired just now, and click OK. Alright, so let's see. Sort of sending is to see if the role assignments have been done. Let's go to. There are two managers assigned to Logan McNeil. Effective date of 7. Where is our manager? It is, it is in top. It is at the top. There it is. So three managers are. Three manager roles. Yeah. We have to clean this up. It's too messy. Too messy. So, crush, then in case you click, I mean use this checkbox saying that the manager name has to appear into the supervisor organization. So will we get these three names? That's the question. Let's see. Let's see. This one is not correct. This one. This one is correct. I mean looks correct. So I will clean this up. Don't worry. Somebody is doing things that should not be anyway. So. Yeah. So now we have created our worker, and we have also. Assigned the role of manager to that particular worker. So this was the position management organization. But where is that position? It's a solution. You see, there is nothing here anymore. What happened to it? It still have any. It has been filled. Yes, because when we went, when we had created the position, it said unfilled because there was no one occupying that position. But now, now we have hired a worker in that position. Isn't it? This is the worker. W. W. Daniel Slow. And so the position is filled. And we said that in this position there will be one worker. So now can I hire one more worker now? No. Yeah. We have to forget the person's going to agree with the position. No, no, we have to first create a position then we will be able to hire. So, as of now, if I start creating, you have to pay the hire. So it will say, hey, what's the position? So we don't have a position. Yes, the first. We need to create a position. Then we will be able to hire. Just remember this. Okay. Let's go here. Because I have a question. So, like earlier, we have discussed that there is a probability of changing position management to stack management, and you have shown us a position to job management and staffing. So, as we hired one employee here, 
to even this possible now. It is, technically it is. So then, what do we have to do? Is we have to undo the higher? Right. At the same time, we have. First we have to undo the higher. First we have to undo the higher. Then the position will show up as open again. If we undo the higher, then we will see the position. Then we have to undo the position. Right? We go to the business process and we resume to the business process. Okay. Okay. So let me show you where to find the higher, like where we can retain. So you go to the related actions of the worker. Okay, and there is something called as worker history. So you click on view worker history. And here is the higher business process. In the worker history, you have the higher business process. If you go to the related actions business process, Resume. Okay. Resume. First we resume the hire. Then we rescind the position. Then we will be able to change the staffing model. Not something that we would love to do, because you see so much of undoing things. You don't want to undo so many things. And I have one more question. So I have seen this salary type is rate. Sorry, at the time of hiding. There is an option called salary type rate and something. I missed it. How does it has been inherited as salary? Pay type. Pay type. It was inherited as salary because in the job profile, we mentioned that for those countries, for US and UK, the period type will be Saturday. Okay, it has been inherited from job profile. Right from the job profile. We have put it in the job profile. If you left it as blank, it would not have filled it. Okay. So you can specify that in the job process. Thank you. Okay. So now let's take a quick look at hiring in a job management organization. So here we have a job management organization. The job profile is training manager. So here what we do is. This is executive. Okay. So let's hire Martin Walters, for example. So we go to the related actions of the organization. Hire again. Take the second option, hire employee. Now what should I do? Which option should I take? Create a new free hire. You're a new pre-hire. Yes. Create a new pre-hire. Then what happens? I put in some details, like Martin. Walters. W.W. Martin Walters in the contact information. Remember to give something. W.W. underscore M. Walters at Tescom. Work. Work email. All right. Click. And then we choose a date. Let's choose today's date, which is 16th of March. Choose a hiring reason, new hire. New position. All right. 
employee type. What is employee type? You don't have to remember. You go to for current country and it choose one of the employee types. We use regular right. Let's use regular. And that's it. The rest of the things were automatically filled, like job profile and full time and rally. Where did these values come from? Sure, from the job profile. Job profile? Is this one training manager? What about full time? Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.